we're leaving Edgewood House and we're heading down toward Mickey's Barbecue. Here we are on Edgewood Road and we're going to take a right onto Park Avenue. If you're coming from Thousand Acres over at the Russell Street house, you're going to take a left at the end of Holly Street. If you were to take a right, you would end up in a historic downtown, but we're going to take a left and head over toward Mickey's Barbecue. So here we are at Mickey's Barbecue, which is at the corner of Park Avenue and Gorge Road. To get to Gulf of Gorge, you're going to take a right, right here, at the corner of Park Avenue and Gorge Road, a right onto Gorge Road. It's then 1.5 miles to Gulf of Gorge. So we're going by Mickey's there, and we're headed down 7 South, also called Gorge Road, and we're entering Gulf of Gorge. So we've just gone from the city to a uh, National Park Road, though you probably wouldn't be able to tell the difference. But if you're speeding through here, the city cops don't have the speed traps, it's the National Park. And uh, this is one of the only, or the only National Park probably where the city and the park are sort of intertwined. You can go in and out, drive through town, and you'll be entering the park and then not entering the park. There is the Hot Springs National Park Campground, Gulf of Gorge. Now it is a campground, but it's also a recre recreational use area for anybody who wants to come by and picnic or just splash in the water. And what you're going to do if you're just using it for a day thing, you're going to go all the way to the end of the area. And we'll show you the best place to hang out with the water. Now this is the amphitheater. If you decided you want to have a wedding in Hot Springs, you can rent this out from the National Park. and. Uh, you rent the power too for another 50 bucks and you could have a, I don't know, maybe it's about 50 or 100 bucks with power. You got your nice wedding with the um, water in the background. But I'm gonna take you to the area that a lot of kids come during the summer season and swim. Water's a little higher than it would be because it just recently rained. And um, if you go across the water area, there's paths that take you up to Goat Rock and a lot of other hiking trails and you can get right in to downtown Hot Springs right from here, a few miles hike, and you're at Bathhouse Row. Here's a great photo opportunity down at the gorge, beautiful bridge, you can position your family and people near there. And then if you pan over this way, you'll see this trail that can also get you to that bridge. And that ends up on the other side of our swimming area over here. Now, normally 90% of the time, you can walk right across those stones. There's a little bit of water going across the stones. You can still walk across it now because we just had a few hours of rain and we had rain yesterday, which is more rain than we normally have in the summer. But if we walk down here, you can see, it's gonna get a little loud, where the area to hang out and swim is. I mean, at most it gets to about three, three and a half feet, which is great for the little kids. But in the hot weather, you could just bring a chair and sit here as the water goes by under your chair or just lie here as the water comes by and washes over you. So if you go across these stones and up that trail, that'll take you to Goat Rock. It's about a half hour walk and it's a beautiful overlook called Goat Rock that you can see all over uh, from almost the top of the mountain. Also about halfway up, you see a trail to the left. Um, I think it's Dead Sheep Trail and that'll get you over to Bathhouse Row so you can walk all the way to the historic downtown Bathhouse right from here. Okay, we're going by Gulf of Gorge, or we just came out of Gulf of Gorge, either one. You're still on Gorge Road, and it's another maybe two-tenths of a mile up here. So you're going to come to, by the way, a neat place to swim also down there, some rocks. If you could park at Gulf of Gorge and walk over there, some great uh, areas to just sort of relax and uh, hang out on the rocks. And uh, you're going to come up to the bridge here. And to get to Magic Springs, the easiest way, I think, is just to take a left right here at the four-way stop. And you're headed up to Magic Springs, which is just another 
mile or so on the left. So at the three quarter of a mile mark, you're coming up on Magic Springs here. And you take a left, and you're at Magic Springs.